Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Tom Sox TV and inside another Tom Sox conversation. My name is Trenton Fisher. It's not every day that I get the honor and privilege to sit down with an athlete with elite perspirations, but today we're going to welcome Kyle Nichols to the show. Kyle, how are you doing, man? Good. Thank you for having me on. No problem, dude. It's my honor. And, you know, I want to look forward during this conversation. I know so much has happened during the past few months. I think everyone's life has been shaken up a little bit, but you are an elite athlete with professional aspirations and you are projected to be drafted in the upcoming MLB draft. And, you know, one thing I really was interested in, how has quarantine and staying at home more affected you on a daily day basis being an athlete? I know it's so hard to stay on that grind, but I can only imagine what it must have been like for the past few weeks. So how has all of this changed your life in that aspect? Yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely changed a lot, you know, going from um, getting ready for conference play uh, for baseball and then all of a sudden you're home uh, the next week not really having anything to do. So um, it's definitely changed a lot. I mean, obviously, uh, what you try to do is just stay in the same routine, throwing, lifting. Um, and then I, uh, for me, I was just trying to, to get out of the house, um, go on a bike ride, anything, just – just trying to fill up time and, and uh, um, you know, try to stay sane. So uh, it's, it's, it was been a little difficult, um, but we're definitely uh, getting back to a little normalcy now. Yeah, for sure. And that's awesome. Do you think that the way you think about your preparation and your emotions in that aspect has also taken a turn? Yeah, I mean, without baseball, you know, during the season, um, it kind of makes you more grateful for it. and. Um, definitely like the next time I go out and play, I'm definitely going to be more um, grateful for, for having the game back that we love. And um, I, I feel like that um, that should be the mindset of every, of every baseball player getting back to play and just being thankful that, that we'll be able to compete here um, whenever that happens. Yeah. And I wanted to talk about your experience with the time Sox. How do you think, I know it was in 2018, but do you think that that experience definitely helped shape you to where you where you're going today? Do you think that that's something you'll carry into your professional career, not just on the playing field, but also off just in your life in general? Yeah, for sure. Um, that was my first summer, college summer. So it was a, my first like real time away from home uh, that that two three months. So definitely a lot of um, experiences there that that will help me um, once I go off to to professional baseball, um, building new relationships with people that, that have di different backgrounds and um, just trying to come together for the same goal. Um, summer ball really helps with that, I feel like. And um, just kind of kind of being on your own, um, your time management, and kind of test how dedicated you are to um, the process and um, just how dedicated you are to your craft. Yeah, and another thing, like I mentioned, there's so much going on. From what you had expected to happen, do you think your expectations have changed heading into the draft and just into this next chapter of your life? Um, my expectations, I mean, I didn't really have have too many. Um, so, yeah, they've changed. Um, just trying to, trying to be ready for whatever happens next. Um, just kind of roll with the punches, go with the flow, you know. You don't really um, – obviously, we're living in a time where you don't really know what's going to happen next, and you just got to be ready to to adapt. Yeah, for sure. Is there anything in particular that you're looking forward to or most excited about in the coming months? Um, I think just – I feel like the change of scenery for me. I mean, i um, been at home for a while now, and, and I'm just ready to get kind of get back into a routine of um, playing baseball and being around a group of guys where – um, we're all trying to get better and, and we're all, um, you know, love baseball. And, and that's kind of what I'm looking forward to is just, just getting back to it. Yeah. And I know you have some, your family has some professional and collegiate experience uh, playing sports um, in football and baseball. And I see you have a big Steelers background back there, which as a Cowboy fan, I don't approve of, but I guess you can take a pass today. But um, how have those individuals really shaped your mindset? And have they helped you get past maybe some of those mind blocks you faced in the recent months? Yeah, definitely. My, you know, my uncle played um, football at Penn State. He played in the NFL. My grandpa played uh, football in college. My dad played baseball in college. So definitely I've had a lot of resources to kind of lean on. And um, just going into college, going into college sports, kind of what to expect. And uh um, yeah, I mean, they've definitely helped me sh help shape who I am and, 
and what kind of athlete and competitor I am. So, um, I mean, it's just nice to have, have those people around who can kind of relate and uh, kind of feel what you're going through. Yeah, for sure. And as we look back on your experience with the Tom Sox back in 2018, is, is there anything that you are going to remember for the rest of your life? Were there any memories, any people, just those connections? What, what, when you think of your experience with the Tom Sox, what stands out to you the most? I think for me, it was just, um, the, just the times we had with, with the team and, and with my host family. Like I said, it was my first time kind of away from home with, um, like for summer, you know, and, um, I mean, just the memories that, that we made with, with the guys and, um, just that grind of, of playing every day and coming to the field. And, uh, I mean, you, you always remember, um, that I feel like that summer ball experience with those with those guys from a bunch of different backgrounds and a bunch of different teams um, just coming together. So I'd say just the people and um, and definitely my host family too. Yeah, for sure. That's awesome. Well, Kyle, that's all I have questions. Why? Is there anything you'd like to add today? Hope I'm all right. Awesome. Well, Kyle, thank you so much for joining us here on another episode of Tom Sox Conversations. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to the Tom Sox YouTube channel and please like and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thanks for joining us. We'll catch you next time. Yep. Thanks for checking out this episode of Tom Sox Conversations. If you want more, be sure to check out the Tom Sox social media as well as the Valley Baseball League YouTube and social media for more great content throughout the 2020 season.